Hi, I won $10,000 at a science competition for my research about possibly saving the bees and the ecosystem. And the DoD STEM Talent Award of $10,000 goes to Rory Hu. I feel like that I've always been into STEM or specifically science in general. Even when I was a little kid, I, I like to play with stuff and ask questions about why things happened and maybe how we could change that. And I think that really helped me develop into my love of science and experimenting. And additionally, with uh, my want to solve problems, to fix things that I think are wrong. I was inspired to research about this topic when I read a news article about the global honeybee population decline. I found an article showing how harmful pesticides can damage the honeybee's learning and memory. Learning and memory in the honeybee can help the honeybee colony function so that the honeybees are able to perform all the functions that they need to do in day-to-day -day life, such as foraging for food and returning to the colony. However, if their learning and memory is impaired, then they aren't able to perform these tasks. They might get lost on the way to finding food, they might not be able to remember the path home, or they might not be able to interpret how to get to the food, and that could lead to the collapse of the colony. I performed a hands-on experiment, a physical experiment, in order to test how the tea polyphenols and caffeine could repair the learning and memory of the honeybee. So I got the bees from a local beekeeper who taught me how to handle the bees What's funny is that uh, when I actually first started this experiment, I was a little scared of bees, but uh, over the time of my experimentation and being able to work with the bees up close and in real life, I found that they're actually really cute. So I used two different types of hands-on experiments to verify that the tea polyphenols and caffeine could repair the learning and memory in the honeybee. I had four fake flowers in a box, the goal being for the bee to eventually be able to identify or learn which flower always had the sucrose. My experiment is actually working. They're actually learning. They're actually uh, extending their proboscis for the peppermint scent or for the sucrose. And so I think that if my method were actually able to be used to help combat the effects of pesticides on the honeybee's learning and memory and actually be able to help solve the global honeybee population decline crisis, I would be extremely gratified that I would be able to help solve such a great problem and um, help prevent the ecosystem from collapsing. Knowing that I would even be able to have a small part in doing that would be extremely gratifying to me.